सफीर पाकिस्तान आपके जज्बों का तर्जुमान वतन से दूर वतन की आवाज और आपकी पहचान सफीर पाकिस्तान नुमाइंदों की टीम के साथ सफीर पाकिस्तान सबसे पहले और सबसे आगे सफीर पाकिस्तान एक्टिवली वर्क टू स्ट्रेंथन दॉन्ड बिटवीन पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन अक्रॉस द नेशन थैंक यू सफीर पाकिस्तान फॉर कंटिन्यूंग टू पुट टूगेदर पॉजिटिव इमेज ऑफ पाकिस्तान अमरीकी सियासत में अहम किरदार मुसलमी प्लेटफॉर्म सफीर पाकिस्तान I really appreciate Wafar Ali Khan who carries this process very well indeed. Palbal ki sabre aur community rapto ke saath lagatar ubharte aur kamyab wa kamran logon ki daastan aap tak pahunchane mein sabse pehle sabse aage putting up a great program running an excellent platform for bringing like minds together. Congratulations for putting a great program together and thank you for connecting so many Pakistanis from all over America. to each other to get everybody together as a community we have seen that he works really hard and i'm so happy that you chose to start this program of honoring high achievers of our community har jagah har pal aapka apna safir e pakistan nazar aata hai टेक्सास के कई कामयाब तरीन पाकिस्तानी टेक्सास स्टेट कई कामयाब तरीन पाकिस्तानियों का गढ़ है पाकिस्तानियों ने नहायत मेहनत और मशक्कत से अपना नाम बनाया इस मुल्क में रोजगार के मौाक़ फ्राहम किए यहाँ की मीशत में भी अपना हिस्सा डाला इसी तरह की एक शख्सियत शौकत धनानी की है जो तैंतीस हजार लोगों में रोजी रोजगार का जरिया बन गए हैं इसके अलावा पाकिस्तान में अपनी खदमा तालीमी मैदान में और कई रिफाई फ्लाई अदारों की मावनत भी कर रहे हैं ये मेरी किताब का हिस्सा भी है और ओ पी टी वी ग्लोबल की रौनक भी है ओ पी टी वी ग्लोबल दुनिया भर में इनकी कामयाबी की दास्तान को रकम करेगा जैसे कि आजकल का दौर है सोशल मीडिया ऑनलाइन मीडिया आजकल की कामयाबी की दलील है लोग टी वी को सिर्फ रौनक की हद तक घर में रखते हैं लेकिन हर शख्स अपनी हथेली और पाम पर टी वी रख कर घूमता है ओ पी टी वी ग्लोबल पर शौकत धनानी अपनी कहानी के साथ हाजिर हैं। इनकी पहचान बर्गर किंग A few years later, the real Burger King rolled into town. It was a classic case of David versus Goliath, and in this case, the little guy won. और पपाये गैस स्टेशन रियल स्टेट के मालिक होने के साथ साथ एक आला हमदर्द हरदिल अजीज शख्सित भी हैं। आइए मिलते हैं शौकत धनानी साहब से। नालिन आप देख रहे हैं OPT TV Global Network। आपके एहसासात, आपके ख्यालात, आपकी आवाज का तर्जुमान सिर्फ़ सिर्फ़ OPT TV Global Network। नाजिन आज हम लेकर आए स्टोरी लॉस एंजलस से नहीं बल्कि अब बहुत दूर ह्यूस्टन टेक्सस से ह्यूस्टन टेक्सस में मेरी मुलाकात एक बहुत ही अहम तरीन शख्स से हुई है उनका नाम है शौकत धनानी शौकत धनानी टेक्सस में बल्कि अमेरिका में किसी भी तारफ़ के मोहताज नहीं है इन्होंने अपने बिजनेस का आगाज बहुत हम बद तरीके से किया आए थे ये तालीम हासिल करने तालीम हासिल करके कुछ बनना चाहते थे लेकिन बंद हो गया ये क्योंकि जो गोल ये लेकर आए थे जो उनके अगराज और मकासद थे उन्होंने पूरे किए किसी ना किसी तरीके से वो तालीम छोड़ गए और उन्होंने कारोबार में कुछ चमक दमक देखी उन्होंने देखा कि अमेरिका बहुत बड़ा मुल्क है और यहाँ पे ऑटोमोबाइल का काम बहुत अच्छा चल रहा है तो उन दोनों भाइयों ने गैराज पर जॉब कर ली गाड़ियों को शीशे साफ़ करते रहे गाड़ियों के टायर चमकाते रहे कार साफ करते रहे और छोटा सा गैस स्टेशन खरीद लिया मैकेनिक शॉप बनाई और मेहनत से लगते रहे मेहनत से लगे रहे और इसके बाद इनके वालद मोहतरम पाकिस्तान से आए उन्होंने इनको अच्छी हिदायत दी उनको बिजनेस के गुर सिखाए आइडियाज सिखाए और उस पर अमल करते हुए आज ये अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, बिलियन से ज़्यादा ऊपर इनका कारोबार है 500 हंड्रेड फार्चून कंपनी में इनका नाम आता है शौकत धनानी ग्रुप और तकरीबन तैंतीस हज़ार लोग जॉब करते हैं इनके पास तैंतीस हज़ार लोगों की घरों के ये चिराग रोशन करते हैं ब्रेड एंड बटर रखते हैं उनके टेबल पे बहुत बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूशन है बीइंग ए पाकिस्तानी के ठीक है मैं समझता हूँ कि इज़ ए लीडिंग 
बर्गर किंग ओनर्स एंड डिफरेंट फ्रेंचाइज इनके पास है रियल इस्टेट है दूसरे कारोबार हैं ओवर बिलियन डॉलर का इनके एसेट्स एंड कारोबार है माशाला आई एम रियली वेरी थ्रिल टू मीट हिम इज़ वेरी हम्बल इज़ वेरी डिसेंट इज़ वेरी नाइस इज़ वेरी क्वाइट पर्सन बट अलहमदिल्ला आई गेट अ चांस टू मीट हिम एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड वैन आई मैट हिम एंड आई लर्न दैट ही इज़ आल्सो 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 कंट्रीब्यूटिंग मेजरली इन एजुकेशन एरिया ऑफ पाकिस्तान कई स्कूलों कॉलेजों को ये मदद करते हैं और उसका पार्ट भी है और बहुत जल्द एक बहुत ही अहम तरीन प्रोजेक्ट पर भी ये काम करेंगे जो मेडिकल कॉलेज से रिलेटेड है शौकत धनानी जो है इनका हेड क्वार्टर टैक्सिस में है और इनका कारोबार अमेरिका के पूरे शहरों में फैला हुआ है नादिन आइए मुलाकात कराता हूँ जनाब आपकी शौकत धनानी साहब से मुझे उम्मीद है कि इनकी मुलाकात को आप पसंद करेंगे और ये हमारी किताब का भी हिस्सा है एक्चुअली मैं उनसे मिलने गया था अपने बुक के सिलसिले में क्योंकि माई बुक इज़ कमिंग विच इज़ ब्रिंगिंग द फाइव हंड्रेड स्टोरीज हु इज़ हु इन अमेरिका एंड द रोल ऑफ द पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन इन द एवरी वॉक ऑफ लाइफ इन अमेरिका देर इन इकोनॉमी इन साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी मेडिकल हेल्थ फूड यू नेम इट पाकिस्तान कंट्रीब्यूटिंग अ मेजर वे इन यूनाइट स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका हम समझते हैं कि जो पाकिस्तानी आबाद हैं वो पाकिस्तान के लिए अहम कलीदी किरदार अदा करने की सलाहियत भी रखते हैं आइए मुलाकात कराता हूँ आपकी शौकत धनानी साहब से मुलाद फरमाइए ये रिपोर्ट हर जगह हर पल आपका अपना सफीर पाकिस्तान नजर आता है Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years experience providing intravenous medication to patients in the comfort of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, Kaba Fusion has seven state-of-the-art pharmacies located across the country. Visit us at kabafusion.com to learn more about the benefits of in-home infusion therapy. OPTV आपका अपना चैनल Mr. Shafiq Dalani, we will tell you too. Uh, I have a lot to tell today, and I have a lot about him. Mashallah, these people who just come from Pakistan, which is nothing but pocket, but they make a fortune, they make a career, and they contribute in that economy. Uh, that and that, they should be go all over the world. And in my upcoming book, the most influential person in America will make a contribution in the America every walk of life. पाकिस्तान the family of pakistan mm -hmm. ji ji who is who living in america and what is the way of living in america ji uh, today i am uh, delighted that to give me time mashallah the nani sir my pleasure it's my pleasure you have a beautiful office thank you my pleasure and as i people told me i found uh, more than that well, good it's good to hear yeah so i would like to really begin by hearing from you tell me a little story how you really end up in america uh me and my older brother came here to us back in uh, exactly in december of 1972 to go to college and we did go to college for 3 years and that was our sole purpose of coming to us back then okay okay so you went to then what what all in that We went to back then. It was called South Texas Junior College. Uh, today is part of the University of Houston. It's called Downtown Campus. So, what we have done, you do BA degree or BSc or what? Well, unfortunately, I'm a dropout. Okay, <laughs> so dropout. we off. Oh, yes, okay. I'm a college dropout. 
didn't graduate. Uh, so after three years, we went to college. And after three years, uh, we decided that uh, we want to start our own business. And uh, we were fortunate enough to able to lease a gas station. Okay. Your first gas station? First gas station. That was in July of 1976. 76. And so the thought process was that we will, uh, you know, work uh, through the summer and a semester and get the business going. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back and finish college. I'm still trying, but I haven't made it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the story where the story went. So your brother graduated, or you still your brother also we left the school or college? No, we both uh, left the college together. Okay. And obviously, we both started the business together, and we are still together, and none of us make it back, me or him. Okay. So, uh, what your hardcore of the two business? You are in the gas station, or you are in a at sea stores or you are in a fast food or what? So, we started in a gas station business mm -hmm. where back then where it was full service where we, the cars would come, we would have, we would go fill up their cars, wash oh. their windshields, check their tires, check the oil. So that's, that's what we started was a truly a gas station mm -hmm. with the car repair, car repair car garage. Repair. Oh. Yeah. So that's what we started with. And then we moved on from there, we moved on to the convenience store business, which was, you know, obviously main business is convenience store, but you have a gas as a side business. And uh, that's what we were doing until about 1994. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were doing our wholesale and retail and strictly gas and C stores. Mm -hmm. And then in 1994, we opened our first Burger King. First Burger King. First Burger. So that's when we got into the fast food restaurant mm -hmm. business. I see. So you're still in a Burger King business? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, what used to be our main business was gas and convenience stores. And so it became our side business today. Mm -hmm. And what was started out as a side business, which was fast food, has become prime business. prime business, our main business today. Main business today. Yeah. So you store nationwide or? Uh, our stores nationwide? are in 22 different states. We're oh. spread in 22 different states. Okay. So how many stores do you have right now? Uh, overall, we have about 1,100 uh, restaurants That's throughout right. 22 states. 22 states. So that's your hardcore business? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I see. So you don't have another franchise or planning to get another franchise? Well, I mean, when I say our 1100 restaurants, I don't mean that that's all Burger oh, King. King. No, it's not. Okay. So Burger King is uh, half of it. Half of it, okay. Half of it. Then we also have other brands as Popeyes. Popeyes, well. Yeah, we have uh, La Madeleine Bakeries. Okay. Uh, we also have Dairy Queen. Dairy we Queen. also have Sonic. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sonic too. Ji ji. Excellent. So, uh, at the point in me, you have to struggle for anybody. The struggle. What, what struggle you gone through making building this empire? Well, obviously, you know, uh, it's hard work. That's for sure. But then you got to have good guidance. Good guidance. And. Uh, and which was uh, my father, G. G. My father came here in 78, seventy-eight after we had started our first gas station, just to see what they're doing, how they're doing. You know, Omni gas station, Liai. You know, so <laughs> let me go see what they're doing, what right? Doing, you know? So he came and uh, and he saw, and then obviously he was also a what I call is a born entrepreneur. Born entrepreneur. Born entrepreneur. Uh, so he saw there's lots of... He was a businessman in Pakistan. Jiji, Bilkul. What in Hyderabad, Sindh. What is going in there? Pe we had a flour mill. Flour mill. Oh, so, flour mill. Ji. Ji, 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 Bilkul. Bilkul. Oh, yeah. That's a very popular business. Ji, 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 ji. So that's the business he was in there in Pakistan. I heard that he's also a very religious person. He was. He was uh, very religious. More like a, you know, like a Sufi type 
not that, but I mean very dedicated. You know, you, people would say that, you know, when you meet somebody, say, you know, I feel like I'm meeting somebody who's very religious, very who's got religious a presence and who's got the face is glowing and things of that nature. Oh, I see. So he was a very religious person, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So when he came here, what he saw? So he saw, he saw, okay, hey, there is a lot of opportunities here. Yes. Compared to back home. So then he said, maybe I should stay here a little bit and help the kids grow a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then I go back. Okay. And then as the luck would have it, uh, after he came, we bought our first convenience store in 78. And then things started coming our way while he was here and he was the type who just couldn't pass up a deal and said, okay, I'm leaving guys, I gotta go. So when he saw a few deals come up and we kept going and then he decided he was going to stay here okay. and call the rest of the family here. That's our family here? Gee. I see. So he become like a, your mentor? Absolutely. Like Absolutely. I learned everything from him because, you know, uh, Somebody has to teach you, right? Yes. Yeah. And to me, the entrepreneurship is, if you learn from a entrepreneur himself, there's nothing like it. Mm-hmm. You can't learn that in college. You can go to the best business college. They will not teach you what a born businessman and entrepreneur can teach you. So I learned from the best. The best. The best. And if you're a bigger of light to further uh, growth in your business. Right? Absolutely. 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 What is his name? Hassan Ali Danani. Hassan Ali Danani. Either Danani is a good group and a family in Pakistan. I'm sorry? Good group and a family Danani last name in Pakistan. Is there? I don't know. Okay. But we don't have any family there. Okay, you, you the, our whole family is here. I see. I mean, when I say whole family meaning his brothers, his sisters, my brothers, my sisters, we're all here in the U.S. Uh, yeah. uh, have you got any issues and problems growing up in the business? You know, there's always issues, there's always problems, right? Mm-hmm. First of all, you know, you're starting out new without a lot of capital, without a lot of experience. You don't have anybody backing you up. So you have to build your foundation from very scratch, uh, step very small step at a time, very small step at a time, and you have to be consistent and constant. So, how many people and staff you putting the bread and butter on the table of your employees? How many today? Family is supporting you today yes. in the U.S. I would say among the 22 states we have, we are, our our total staff. It's about 33,000. 33,000 people working for you? Ji. And supporting their families? Ji, you can say. Right? You can say. (laughs) MashaAllah, that's a very honorable thing, you know. Well, it's a blessing. That's my purpose to write my book about the contribution of the Pakistan. Yeah, no, it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, okay. Absolutely. So, do you have any plan to open any business in Pakistan in the future? You know, I was, I never considered it till about, you can say six months ago, to do any kind of business in Pakistan. But six months ago, you know, I had a meeting with the Prime Minister Imran Khan. Yes. When he was here in Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. And... He was encouraging all the Pakistanis here to come and invest in Pakistan. Right. And, and obviously, you know, we know the issues that you have to go through, the red tape and the corruption. And, and he was assuring us, all of us, that he is taking care of that. And he told us what his plan was. So after I heard and met with him, I'm encouraged now I'm looking into uh, getting in business in Pakistan. So do you have an idea what, else, uh, what kind of uh, what kind of business 
you are going to be in, in the food business, franchise business. Or naturally, business. naturally, franchise business, of franchise. course, franchise business. We we looked at you know bringing Burger King to say Pakistan 10, 15 years ago. Yes, I had made a trip to Pakistan for just for that, but then you know the 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 political conditions of Pakistan was so unstable. It was you you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that scared me and I decided to say, okay, I'm happy where I am. Yeah, and nowadays, uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, I've seen the food court in Karachi. I think it's bigger than any American food court. Yes. In the malls. Yes, and absolutely. Jack in the Box and Starbucks and P.F. Yes, and yes, yes. All the food Western, food. all the American restaurants, a lot of them are there. Maybe, matter of fact, most of them are there. Uh, I think uh, I have to say that it's a very good step, it's a very positive step yeah. to support the Pakistan economy and the business and one of the seasoned and experienced businessmen like you go to Pakistan and then do the franchise business and create a lot of jobs yeah, yeah, yeah. and of course uh, boost the Pakistan economy. Yeah. I think the Pakistani nation will be very happy and excited people like you to go Pakistan. Well, you know, of course, uh, like I said, uh, I started more and more thinking about doing something in Pakistan. And because I, I, I come to Pakistan, but three times a year, obviously not to visit or for pleasure, but I come, uh, I'm a board member of uh, Habib University in Karachi. Oh, mashallah, that's, that's good. It's yes, good. matter of fact, uh, uh, we have we, we have a quite a bit of involvement with the Habib University. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, they have a their school of science and engineering. Yeah. It's called the Nani School of Science and Engineering. Yeah, the Nani school of science. Gee, gee, gee. That was uh, done about two years ago. So we have a very deep involvement with the Habib University and the Habib family. So, mashallah, you are already in Pakistan. Exactly. So, I'm coming three times a year, okay. at least for the board meetings, right? Uh -huh. So, I'm saying I might as well do something here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes, now I'm the very good at uh, atmosphere and uh, very good time to do something. Gee, gee, and, gee. Uh, I'm surprised people talk about Pakistan, you or I, this happens. But when I see, I met the Lotus Group, is the Lakhani Group, and I saw the project is multi-billion of dollar project. Ji, ji, bilkul. Rising building and smart cities, and everybody building the city, the town. I mean, they infusing the capital. Ji, ji, bilkul. And opening malls in every city. Absolutely. So I think it's a very good. Uh, Move, uh, Mr. Dhanani, and well, uh, that you, uh, you get the uh, fine franchise and very favorite franchise, uh, yep. regular Pakistan. And then, then you have a, uh, you have the another opening in like Baku, uh, next next door. You can expand your business. Absolutely. Neighboring countries. In absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, like yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Tremendous, uh, tremendous potential in Pakistan, really and truly. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it is, uh, you know, so, is a, is a strategically located. Uh, absolutely, uh, yes. Country, Pakistan, and uh, people like you, season experience, can add lot to it. You know, let me mention about uh, Mr. Hashwani. You know, Hashwani got so many threats, so many problems. I want to buy your business. Yes. Give me all the hotels. G -g -g -g. He ran away. He went to the Dubai and. He never give up. Exactly. Exactly. And now he's building hotel. Mashallah, he's doing alhamdulillah. He's yes, strong, doing very well. You know, and he has the blessing of the Akhan. Yes. Everything I think is doing pretty well. Uh, Mr. tell me how much your contribution into the community of uh, American Pakistani community. What do you mean by that? Your, your role about as a philanthropist, as a welfare, as a, something like that for the community. Well, you know, obviously I'm in quite a, I'm involved in a lot of things here. As I told you, I'm going to this Patients Benefit Foundation Gala this evening after I finish this. So that's a foundation that uh, helps people get the surgeries done that people don't have insurance, cannot afford to pay. 
So the foundation would pay for it. Pay for it. Okay. You know, so that's obviously one cause. But then besides that, we're also involved with, uh, you know, the Citizens Foundation mm -hmm. of yes, Pakistan. Everywhere. We are also in quite a bit involved with Indus Hospital. Oh, very good project. GG, mashallah. And then, support that. Yes, and then also the SITU. SITU. Wow, that's so, that's so alhamdulillah, we are always we are involved in all of those things, whatever we can do, wherever we can help. So, what about uh, supporting the American community or American politician as they have a role? Gee, gee, bilkul. I mean, you have to be involved in the local community also, and we are. Uh, in the politics, we have to support, you know, the politicians. Matter of fact, we're going to be doing a fundraiser Monday for our current mayor, Sylvester Turner, who's, huh? who's, uh, who's into the runoff. So we're going to, we are doing a second fundraiser for him. Uh, we have done fundraiser for our present governor, Greg Abbott. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Good man. I interviewed Yes. Yes. So he, I did it at my home. So okay. uh, obviously we also support our local Desi politicians like our uh, county judge for Fort Bend, KP George. KP George, yeah. Nice. Obviously, you know. And uh, so, you know, we are involved in all aspects of those and even in charities locally. We are also involved so, with our, our foundation. Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, we, yeah, absolutely. With them, we are also in, involved with the uh, the Baylor College, no, Baylor Hospital, which is a uh, what do you call uh, no Benton, sorry, which is a public hospital, public and hospital. their their uh, they have their mental departments, mental and you know. So we do yes. They need quite a bit of support, and so we do whatever we can, and so we are involved in all aspects. Mr. Dhani, you are, mashallah, you, uh, you played it full, you are a busy person. Did you find any uh, good moment to spend with the family and some social life? Well, you have to balance it. Okay. So, obviously I learned with experience, that when I was younger, 20 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, where I was in pursuit of the business, entrepreneurship, and uh, so I ignored, I didn't balance, I was kind of man possessed. So I kind of ignored a little bit at the home side, you know, so I totally regret that. And uh, that taught me that, hey, every time, all the time, you got to balance everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what I still try to do. I see. So you spend a good time? Yes, absolutely. Matter of fact, uh, I spend more, quite a bit of time with my first granddaughter. She's about eight months old. Okay. So How many kids you have? I have four kids. I have two boys and two girls. Two boys, all grown up. Mashallah, G E G. My oldest daughter is Sonia. She's married. Gone. Married. Uh, Thirty-three years old. She's that's she's had the daughter about eight months ago. That's my first grandchild. And then I have a son. His name is Zoheb. He also he works in the business. Okay. He's also married. Okay. And uh, I have a daughter, Sophia. I think she, she's engaged, inshallah, she'll be married next summer. Next summer. And then I have our youngest is uh, my son, Osman, and I think he'll get married in December. December. Before her you sister. All out. Yes, so inshallah. You, that you and your wife have a good time. Inshallah, after next summer, we'll be free birds. <laughs> Do you travel? Um, yes, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay. What's your favorite hobbies? Hobbies, I'd love to play golf mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, golf takes a lot of time. So I don't get to play a lot, but whatever I can, I do. Right, so you like music? I love music. Absolutely. I love music you like? You know, obviously still Desi at heart. Desi at heart, yes. Desi at heart. So I still love Desi music first. Okay. But since I've uh, been here for a very long time, so I love what I grew up with, you know, the, the rock and roll and, uh, okay. and classical. Classical. Any, any historic moment you want to share to me about in your life sometime you decided, hey, I can't do this. I can't do this? Yeah, sometime. Yes. When you're doing business, man, I'm tired with this uh, washing cars, cleaning, putting gas. 
you that hey I can do that any, any moment come in your life and then you get out from that and you yes that yes so that uh, that I went through that moment I guess uh, right after our first business so we started in gas station in 76 like I told you my dad father came in 78 so at that time you know I was you know I was quite young you know and the culture here and I'm saying why am I working so hard why do I have to do this I, why can't I have a life like typical American Monday through Friday nine to five and enjoy your weekends and all of that and and that's what I wanted to do I see that's exactly what I wanted to do mm -hmm. I see and, uh, and, 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 you know, obviously my dad sat me down and said, look, you can do that, what you want. Five days a week, nine to five, have, enjoy your weekends and no headaches, work for somebody all your life. You can do that, but that's what you're going to be all your life. Uh, Working for somebody. Yeah, I know that. But if you do what I tell you to do, for two years, just follow my instructions for two years, you'll be set for life. But if you don't want to work, after two years, you won't have to work. I'm glad I listened to him. Yeah. He gave you the target. There you go. And you met the target. There you go. And you met the parchin, mashallah. There you go, alhamdulillah. How do you see the role and the contribution of the Pakistani America in U.S.? I mean, as a role in uh, business and entrepreneurship and science, technology, medical, healthcare. How do you see the role of Pakistani America? I mean, you know, as a Pakistani, as American, they're contributing in all aspects. You know, especially in the medical side. You know, uh, doctors, um, or we have some of the best doctors here from Pakistan. In every, you know, you go to the medical center, you see. Um, you obviously we have quite a few entrepreneurs as you probably know and they're doing well alhamdulillah and growing and uh, besides that even in the professional life cpas lawyers i mean you name it we are involved in every aspect every walk of life, every walk of life in the in the yeah absolutely and and all of them you know now are doing well, alhamdulillah, in their own capacity. Mm -hmm. And they're all good citizens overall. They're good citizens. Good citizens. 99.9% .9 I would say are good citizens. Yeah. Sir, would you like to share something very interesting in your life, any moment? Any interesting thing in uh, your life? Personal or business? Personal, personal business, personal. Well, I guess... Uh, I guess the biggest and uh, moment of personal for me, which was I call it a game changer, is uh, when I got married. Oh, okay. and married my beautiful wife Nadia. Nadia is from Pakistan. Uh, she is from India. From India. She's from India. Okay, which part of India? Mumbai. Mumbai. Yep. Zabardas. Yeah. Ji So. Kaha jata hai na ki every man has a woman behind him to make successful. Absolutely. And I believe it. I believe it. I endorse it. Because she was behind me 100% throughout. Otherwise... Yeah. You give you good kids and good Absolutely. Training. Absolutely. And yeah. fill the, the void where I couldn't, where I was too busy doing too busy. other things. So, you know, obviously, that's a blessing. Blessing. To have a good and understanding wife. So your, your kids are taking very much interest in your business? Oh uh, yeah, all my four kids today are involved in the business. Business. Do you support entrepreneur, you give them advice, uh, some people come to you? All the time, okay. all the time. I'd, I don't, I'd love, I'd love entrepreneurship. I love to help entrepreneurs any way I can, any way I can. I see. Uh, the one thing, 
how do you like Houston, Texas, living in Texas? I love it. That's why uh, I, like I told you I've been here since 72 and I'm still here. Never gone anywhere. Obviously visited a lot of places in the U.S. But to me, this is still home. Uh, it's the, I think, uh, fortunately, we came in the right place at the right time. So I've been here 40 plus years in Houston, Texas. Texas. And, and then, you know, I can tell you, it's been growing for the last 40 plus years. It's never stopped. Never stop. Continue. Even continue though, work, 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 even work. though the economy has gone uh, up, uh, economy uh, is down, Houston and Texas, we keep going like this. Uh, hard to see the U.S. economy going because you're a person, you're a very successful entrepreneur, a businessman, and how you see the nervous economy of Pakistan, sorry, the nervous economy of the United States of America under the leadership of Donald Trump. Well, you know, Donald Trump obviously uh, is a Republican, mm -hmm. and, and, and and you probably know Republicans are always pro-business. Yes, yeah. So, uh, in during Republican time, the businesses always prosper. Like the first thing uh, Donald Trump did when he came to our office was the do the major tax reform, where we cut our tax rates from thirty-five percent to twenty-one percent for corporate. That's huge. We were, we were uh, overtaxed compared to the rest of the world. C companies were leaving U.S. because of that. Mm -hmm. So that had to be corrected, which it did. And then you see, you know, the stock market today. It's reaching, stock, it's reaching uh, record highs every day. Every day. That's the effect of that. And then he's the renegotiating the deal with the different countries. Yes, the NAFTA uh, and America, the, the China. America. Exactly. Yes. Because the America was being taken advantage of, yes. you know, we and we all know it. So he's deciding to change that. I see. How do you see the future of the Muslim American in the U.S.? I see a very bright future. Um, I believe we're going to continue to grow. Obviously, we've been through some rough times, especially after 9-11. After 9-11, we've been through some rough times, but we got through it, and uh, now I think it's gotten much, much better, and I think it's continuing to get better, where people are now more and more understanding Muslims and understanding Islam as a religion, not just a stereotype where if it's a Muslim, it's a terrorist. You know, that's how the thing was. But now they see, so like we have two uh, women, Muslim women in Congress. Congress yeah, yeah. So as you can see, uh, the people are accepting. Yeah. People are accepting. Okay, and they see their roles, what they are doing, what they are accomplished, where they are going. So that, 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 that uh, perception is changing, slowly but surely. MashaAllah. I think uh, you have a, mashallah, very good eye on... Muslim American, Pakistani American, American business, and that's uh, maybe the key of your uh, success. Maybe, who knows, <laughs> right? <laughs> or it's the blessing. Do you have any exclusive message to our audience, those watching you or reading about you in my book? Well, uh, my message would be if you aspired to be an entrepreneur, uh, I say go for it, but be honest, be persistent, and be ready to work hard for a very long time. And inshallah you'll succeed. I'm, I'm looking forward to your book. Okay. Okay, not, I mean the main reason <laughs> I'm looking forward to your book is because uh, you know, we, a couple of years ago, since a couple of years ago, we've started doing like uh, the fundraiser and bringing awareness in U.S. Uh, to Pakistani businessmen who are success entrepreneurs and successful professionally, entrepreneurship, whatever. Uh, and we're raising funds to build an endowment for Habib University. Very good, yeah. So, 
you've done the hard work. You give me the names, addresses. Sure. And we will approach them. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Dalani. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Opi TV, aapka apna channel. Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years experience providing intravenous medication to patients in the comfort of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, Kaba Fusion has seven state-of-the-art pharmacies located across the country. Visit us at kabafusion.com to learn more about the benefits of in-home infusion therapy. दुनिया भर में आबाद पाकिस्तानियों की तरक्की और कामरानी पर मबनी प्रोग्राम पाकिस्तान को तरक्की की राह पर गामजन करने के लिए दुनिया भर में पाकिस्तानी मुतहरक और तैयार भर के मुल्कों में पाकिस्तानी का उनकी तरक्की में हिस्सा देखिए बैन अवी मंजर में पाकिस्तानियों का समाजी सियासी तिजारती और मजहबी उमूर में भरपूर किरदार हर पल आपका अपना सफीर पाकिस्तान नजर आता है नादिन तो आप देख रहे थे ओपी टीवी ग्लोबल से प्रोग्राम सफीर पाकिस्तान आपके जज्बात आपके एहसास का तर्जुमान सिर्फ और सिर्फ सफीर पाकिस्तान ओपी टीवी ग्लोबल नेटवर्क दुनिया भर में सबसे ज्यादा देखा जाने वाला प्रोग्राम बैरून ममालिक में आबाद पाकिस्तान की आवाज उनके ख्याल और उनके एहसास उनके जज्बात का तर्जुमान ऑफकोर्स ओ पी टी वी ग्लोबल नेटवर्क नादी के साथ ही अकबर मेजबान व करील खान आपसे जा जाएगा अल्लाह हाफ पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद